Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Rating the Races. So it's just a few days now until the Grand National. Um, pretty confident of roughly the field. We know um, news today that uh, Capadano, no not Capadano, Conflated is likely to run in the Melling Chase. Um, he'll only run in the Grand National if the ground is good. It's definitely not going to be good. Um, so pretty confident that Conflated's going to run in the Melling Chase. Which then means uh, Kitty's Light definitely gets a run. Those three at the bottom that were vying for the two places, um, Eclat de Rear, Shambard and Kitty's Light were all trying to, uh, were going to go in a ballot basically. They are still going in a ballot as it stands um, for those final two places. Two out of the three would get picked, but with Conflated uh, very likely not to run, um, they would all get their, their place. You could potentially say that um, Melina Gell might also get in if one other comes out, potentially uh, one of those Ronnie Bartlett couple, Statler or Galvin. I think, if anything, it's going to be Galvin out of those. Um, Statler does have some soft ground form. Galvin, maybe not so much. Um, so, and other than that, I'm not totally sure who else may come out. I think a lot of them are going to run, just because it is the Grand National. And um, even some that probably don't look like they've got the greatest of chances... It's the Grand National, so you can understand why they, they're probably going to run. So, who are my four for the race? The first one you can see on my screen now. Um, you can't... Uh, I can't get away from him. We had him last year. We had him in the old team. We had him in the Grand National. Uh, he's going to go really close again. And that is Correct Rambler. So, he's up £13 from last year. He won it off 146 uh, he's up to 159 this year. He's actually three pounds well in based on his third in the Gold Cup, which I actually thought was a very good effort. And I don't think it was a hard effort. I thought he just ran on past those horses that were beaten, um, that tried to win the race. He was ridden to try and run into a place if everything else faulted in front and to use his stamina to bring him into into uh, play. And it did. You know, it worked lovely. They got a third in the Gold Cup. They come back this year for the Grand National, and I think he goes very close. Now, he only won last year. He ended up winning just by two and a quarter lengths. However, in my opinion, if he jumped the last a length behind Vanillier, he would have beaten him by two and a quarter lengths. If he jumped the last level with Vanillier, he would have beaten him by two and a quarter lengths. And jumping the last however many lengths clear, he'd just gone past Mr. Coffee. He won by two and a quarter lengths. I don't think the horse was putting anything in after the last. If you actually watch his stride, it kind of starts going up and down. Um, but not through getting tired. But because he's got to the front and gone, I've, I've done, thanks. I'm, I've finished the race. Um, I think this year he'll be weighted with a little bit more. I think last year, obviously, they went after Mr. Coffee thinking, you know, he's got away. We need to get after Mr. Coffee. And they closed him down too quickly. Mr. Coffee actually faded quite quite badly in the end, finishing eighth. Um, and Corrup Rambler was left in front at the last. You know, he he moved into the the, the lead, still travelling oh so well. And yeah, I wouldn't have any issues with him whatsoever. Um, the thirteen pound rise, I don't think, is enough at all to stop him from running a huge race again. One thing we've got to look at. Is his price now? If you've not backed him already at bigger prices, he's currently at top price eleven to two. He's five to one in most places. He's nine to two in a few places. He's even fours at Betway. Now, last year he went off the eight to one favourite with the Irish contingency behind him, the likes of Ian Maximus, Meeting of the Waters, Vanillier, Mister Incredible. I do think he'll go off about eight to one favourite again. So if you've not backed him, I probably wouldn't be backing him at fours and fives. You're probably going to get eight to one, maybe seven to one, the field on Saturday, and I would be waiting until the day to back Correct Rambler. Um, you may also find there's some uh, promotions, or at some point something gets really well supported. Maybe Meeting of the Waters, being a JP horse, gets really well supported, um, and they push Correct Rambler out slightly. But I do think you'll get sevens or eights about him. I do think he is going to go very close. Um, the ground won't be an issue, you know, it's going to be soft stroke heavy, his form on soft is fine, he won an old, an old teamer on soft, he ran a really good race in the Gold Cup on soft, I just think, although it's, um, this is really going to test their stamina, and you need a horse that definitely stays the trip, 
in Correct Rambler, you've got one of those. He definitely stays the trip. He stayed it fine last year um, in the Grand National. And yeah, I think he is he is the right favourite for me. The second horse that I really like, and I'm pretty confident he's going to get in now with Conflated likely to come out. He is one of those three that was um, battling for that, uh, or going to be in the ballot for those two places. And that is Kitty's Light. So Kitty's Light has some really, really good form over... Um, long distance races. If we actually look through his form, let's go back to where should we go? Here. Sandown, he was second in the Bet365 Gold Cup over three and a half. Let's look at another run over a, about that distance. We want to be significantly over the three mile trip. Still nothing, still nothing. Three mile seven, second in a Scottish national behind Win My Wings, who at the time was incredibly well handicapped. He then went to Sandown. Uh, it says he finished third. I think that was the year he got uh, disqualified. Was that the year? No, that was when he was third behind Hewick and Musical Slave. Obviously, Hewick at the time was incredibly well handicapped. And Musical Slave had come into the race on in good form himself. So nothing wrong with that either. We then look for the next run over three mile. We've got it here. It was four mile one at Newcastle, winning the Ida Chase. We've then got... 3 mile 7 winning the Scottish National, 3 mile 4 winning the Bet365 Gold Cup, and then he's dropped back in trip and hasn't run over a suitable trip. Last time out in the Ultima on soft ground, he ran a really good race. Um, all you know, The only plan for him that day was to get round and to run on as best they can. Now, those at the front were horses that wanted this sort of trip, maybe a bit shorter in places for the likes of the Goffer, Kitty's Light needs another mile. If they'd got another mile, Kitty's Light would have suddenly been right on, uh, right at the front of these. I honestly believe. I think he would have won this race if this was over four mile. He obviously runs off his one four six mark, which um, he is. He's now rated one four five. They dropped him a pound for that runner, um, Cheltenham. I would totally uh, ignore that. And you know, the the question mark could be, is he good enough on? Um, Going to be good enough on the soft stroke heavy going. Well, he's only actually had the one run on heavy going. That was last time in the Ultima, which again wasn't over far enough. And if we then look at his other runs, for example, on soft, third of seven and seventh of 14 at Kempton. Uh, where are they? Third of uh, here. These two over three mile at Kempton. Not far enough. We've never actually seen him run a long distance race on soft heavy going. I don't think it'd be an issue. I think he stays all day. I think he stays six miles, really. That's what he really wants, Kitty's Light. And if he can just jump round, that's all I'd be saying to Jack, is just make sure he jumps round. If he jumps round, I can't see him out of the places. I really can't. Um, I think he goes really, really close here. And I think he's the biggest danger to Correct Rambler. Um, so, yeah, just... just uh, no issues for the ground with for me. Um, just get him round, and yeah, I think he he goes very close. To be honest, I still think his one four six mark is workable. I think he's a one fifty five horse. Um, so as I said, if if he gets round, personally, I think he's the one that's going to win the race. That's Kitty's light. Moving on to our third horse for the race, and that will be Delta Work, who is one of these horses that wants this soft ground. I think his form is good. Obviously, he won a um, Cheltenham cross-country race beating Tiger Roll on heavy. And then he won last year uh, the cross-country race on soft beating Galvin. Two proper graded horses. He beat them on the soft heavy going. If he gets that in the Grand National, um, as long as he gets around this year, I think he goes really close. He was still travelling absolutely fine when unseating. I think it was at the 21st, just after Valentine's, I think unseated on the 21st going okay he was absolutely fine he only went off 11 to 1 that day awful mark of 159 he gets to run off 157 this year um so he's actually two pounds lower and yet a significantly better price than what he was he's you can get 28s about him 25s i think he'll go off a bit shorter than that i think he'll get well supported and go off in those um 14s 16s sort of price uh, for delta work no issues with his runs this season um He's been purely campaigned with the cross country at the Cheltenham Festival in mind, and then with the um, Grand National. Obviously, the cross country didn't happen. He does come here off the back of a hurdles run. 
yeah, no issues for me. This has been the plan all season. I think he will go very close. Um, and that is Delta Work. And the final horse that I am going to uh, select is Marla Mission. Now, Marla Mission, I think he's got some very good form, including when uh, I think he was going to win the, or I'm pretty confident he was going to win the three mile six race at the Cheltenham Festival just three runs ago. He's not been that high, um, heavily campaigned since. He was going to win that. He was going to beat the likes of Gaylord de Manil and Chemical Energy and Mr. Coffee, all who um, have done well since. Gaylord de Manil obviously finished third in a Grand National himself. Marla Mission was going to win that, and I don't think he was given enough credit for that at all. He then came back out over two and a half mile and finished second. That was a really good run behind Thunder Rock, who wants two and a half miles. Before then running a great race when finishing second in the Gold Cup, the Coral Gold Cup, sorry, the um, formerly the Hennessy. Now, he got beat by That's Alright Gino. Now, That's Alright Gino had gone off, what did he go off when pulling up? Five to one favourite for a festival plate. He won a five to one favourite of one four, one four five. So to win the the Hennessy, the Coral Gold Cup, off just one four eight. He was always going to have a big chance if he stayed the trip, and he proved that he did stay the trip when winning that, and he won really nicely. They pulled clear of Mombeg Genius, who himself was well handicapped. Amala Mission um, was rated 151. He's going to run uh, in the Grand National of 158, but I think that's about right. Um, I do think that's that's fair, and the ground shouldn't be an issue either. If we look back here, he's got some form on soft. Uh, Navan, I think that was soft heavy when he was winning. He was beating Tenzig that day in the 10-up chase. I think this was the 10-up chase. No, it was just a beginner's chase, sorry. Um, but he won this on soft heavy going, uh, beating Tenzing quite uh, comfortably. Ground isn't an issue. I think Marlon Mission's going to run a really big race. I think they've been very clever with his um, placement this year, getting him ready for this race um, by not over racing him at all not over facing him they've got him here i think he's going to go really really close so they are my four for the grand national they are correct rambler who i would wait until the day now to back him um i think he's too short as it stands you'll probably get sevens or eights on the day i like kitty's light personally that would be my number one uh, for the race as long as he gets round i think he goes very very close and obviously he's got so much experience in these big fields, long distance handicaps, um, especially for an eight year old. He's, he's done so many uh, good performances before. I like Marla Mission. I think the trip will be fine. I think he's well handicapped still. And they've been very careful with their planning. And Delta Work. Delta Work is overpriced. Where is Delta Work? I think he's overpriced at 25s and 28s. Um, he only went off 11s last year. He was still going well. This has been his target all season. Um, so you can completely ignore his previous three runs when they weren't anything. They were just runs to potentially get his mark down a couple of pound, which they it did, and to get him fit for the cross country race. Obviously, that was not uh, that didn't happen. Um, but he comes here, therefore, very very fresh, and I think he also runs a huge race. So they are my four, and best of luck if you follow any of those, and good luck with your own selections in the Grand National. I think the main thing we want is all 34, not 40 runners, all 34 to get round safely, um, all the jockeys to get round safely or to at least uh, have no injuries after the race.